several years, there's been thousands of people going out to the desert and they're calling it the burning man. The thousands of people are going out into the desert and what they're doing is they're having an orgy of fire for a whole week. It's totally demonic. It's total sexual immorality, an explosion of, of occultism, wild music. And they do this for five days and then there's a culmination of it on the final night in which they dare God to send fire on them. And they have a two-story wooden man and the culmination of it is that they set this man on fire and everybody just goes crazy and they're calling it the burning man in the desert. But the Bible says that there was a burning man in the desert. He was a blazing lamp, a blazing torch, and you enjoyed his light for the life. And it's just gotten into my heart that God would raise up another burning man in the desert, a generation who are blazing like John the Baptist. He was a Nazarite from his birth, totally separated unto God. He lived a fasted life. He ate locusts and honey. He was totally abandoned to the purpose of God. He had no side issues. He was radical for Jesus. He was a voice crying in the wilderness, crying out, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. He was the one that had the spirit of Elijah upon him, of whom the Lord said that he would come and restore the hearts of the fathers to the children and to the children of the fathers. And in the last day, the spirit of Elijah would come on a people who are going to prepare the way for the end time return of Jesus Christ. There's a burning man in the desert. I'm going to these conferences and I'm preaching to kids all across America and I'm saying there's a burning man in the desert and you're the man. You're the one that's going to be lit up with a fasted lifestyle who say no to the world and yes to God. They say of John the Baptist that thousands went out to see John the Baptist. It was the quality of his life, the fire of his devotion that captured him. And I believe a new generation is rising up with the same fire that has literally drawn thousands of people. Not a demonic burning man, but a holy burning man in the desert. John the Baptist's anointing is coming back. There are kids today on 40-day fasts. There are kids today that are crying out three to five hours a day in intercession, crying out. I'm daring to believe God that literally stadiums would be filled with students fasting in prayer. I'm preaching to kids and I'm saying, can you believe with me for a million kids to fill the mall? Washington DC crying out to God for the restoration of the hearts of the children to their fathers we're in the day of it you look at promise keepers but there's got to be a corresponding move of kids who will go back to the Lord with all their hearts and I believe the greatest revival in history could be at our fingertips and therefore it's the time to pray Lord we ask you God to restore the hearts of the fathers to the children and return the hearts of the children to the forefathers, the revivalists of the past in America and in Canada that you remember them, oh God, and turn the kids back to their holy roots, God. Turn them back, God. Let John the Baptist return. Let the spirit of Elijah arise on Generation X. Make them extreme disciples. Hallelujah. <laughs>